Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Dustin Crace and today we're going to do an update to that uh, horror story <laughs> I posted a few uh, days ago um, about my experience buying the 3DS XL and trying to do a system transfer. And uh, long story short, um, I did get my refund. Uh, Nintendo pretty much refunded me for everything that was in my eShop account. But it was kind of a long road to get there. But they made good on, um, well, it was really a sort of a combined failure. One with me not knowing that I had to have both systems to do a system transfer. And then their system of doing the transfer kind of screwed me over. And uh, there'll be a link down below um, to the first video if you didn't catch that one. So you can go back and see sort of part A of the story. Um, where we left off of the story was part B, where I went back to GameStop and tried to do a system transfer again with the system because I realized um, all my information is still on this SD card. The problem was, um, when I did the first transfer and it aired out, um, the, the process, I guess, deletes the information out of the original 3DS as it's going. And uh, when it aired out, um, apparently that eShop data just disappeared off that unit. Now, um, because when I started it up and put the SD card back in and went to the eShop, it showed my account as zero. So on the original 3DS, it showed my account as zero. So I could not do another system transfer. But the weird thing was, is when I talked to the guy at Nintendo, he pulled up that account with the 3DS's serial number and said, oh no, the, the account is still there. And I was like, look, I have, that, one, the 3DS has now been shipped out of that GameStop, so I have no way of getting to that. And two, when I booted it back up, it showed an account of zero. So he's like, huh, huh, okay, well here's what we can do. Um, and I was, I was talking to him at work while I was doing this. He's like, if you can find the receipt, send us a picture of that receipt showing that you did indeed trade in that serial number for the new XL, we can just credit your account on the new 3DS. So I said, yeah, fine, that's sure, that's great. Um, and uh, we hung up, and I was sort of in a, uh, a case at work, and I started thinking about it, and I was like, oh shit, I just took the trash out the other day. <laughs> So I was like, oh, I'm sure it's, because I saved bags back um, from like, you know, the grocery store and stuff, the plastic bags to uh, use as like liner bags for smaller trash cans and stuff. And I, I did keep some GameStop bags. So I was like, mm, maybe it's in one of those bags. So when I got home, I quickly went to the closet and started rifling through all the bags. Um, the GameStop bags that I had uh, did not have that receipt. So I was like, shit. So I quickly looked in the trash bag, or in the trash can itself, just to make sure that, you know, I didn't throw it in after I took the trash out, and of course I didn't. So, <laughs> I went out to our apartment complex's dumpster, and looked in, and lo and behold, my trash bag was still on top, but it was kind of in the back, where I couldn't reach it. So I saw a piece of, uh, there was just some rebar, uh, you know, lying around, so I grabbed a, a piece of rebar, and I tried to hook my bag out of the dumpster, and wouldn't you just know it, it just tore right into that bag and just ripped it to shreds. So, long story short, I had to dumpster dive, and uh, got in there and was looking for the receipt, found the bag uh, with no receipt in it, and the, the receipt was just nowhere in that trash bag, you know, and here I am, it just had rained, and like, you know, that, that dumpster, that, like, that wet trash metal dumpster smell, you know? I was like, oh my god. Luckily I was still wearing my scrubs from work. Um, so I was able to take those back the next day and just throw them in the bin. But uh, I came back inside kind of feeling dejected and I thought to myself, well maybe I can just go to GameStop and they can reprint the receipt. And as I went to the bedroom uh, to let Duncan out of his cage, I looked on the dresser and lo and behold, there was the receipt sitting there. Um, so. Long story short, I don't give myself enough credit for uh, keeping important documents around the apartment. Um, so I, I, I took a picture of that with my phone and sent it in. And lo and behold, today I booted up my uh, 3DS and boom, there's the money 
um, all on the account, and uh, it feels good um, because you know I, I downloaded some of the games. I downloaded Crimson Shroud and Liberation Maiden. I don't know if I'm going to re-download Unchained Blades, because I don't really know if I'd play it again, because it's a 60-hour game, and with all this setting behind me, that's kind of a big investment to play through again, although it's a great game, don't get me wrong. So, kind of looking around in the eShop, seeing what other things I can download. I kind of want to download Mega Man 3, um, just so I have it on the go, because that'd be a fun thing to have. Um, but yeah, Nintendo made good on um, solving that problem. And I know, I know, I know, I should have read the instruction manual because when we get these new pieces of equipment, these new systems and everything, that's the first thing we all do is we tear open that box, we set the system aside, and we pull out that thick book and just read it page by page. I should have done that first. I really should have. Um, but the problem, the real problem with this system... <clears throat> is not so much knowing that I needed both systems, because I was able to rectify that problem. It was when I actually did the system transfer and the original 3DS, which kind of has a shitty Wi-Fi. I've always had problems with that, the Wi-Fi on the original 3DS. Um, drops it mid-go, and all of a sudden, like, the data is just gone off that 3DS. That was my issue. And um, there's got to be a better way. Um, and I kind of got some flack from some people by saying Apple's talking about Apple's shop. I wasn't saying Apple was the savior of the video game world or anything. I'm just saying that when I buy a new iPhone, I can go into the Apple shop and with my password and re-download the apps I previously had on the old iPhone. Because um, I've already spent the money on those licenses. Now, there can be issues where like it was made for iPhone 4 and iPhone 5 doesn't support it, blah, blah, blah. But that's, you know, a few and far between. But Nintendo should have a system like that where the eShops should be a centralized thing instead of each system getting its own eShop and then your, your, your own system having its own account for that eShop. Um, call me crazy, but I think if I wanted to download Earthbound, which right now is just a Wii U exclusive on the, their shop, if I want to download it on my 3DS and take it portably, I should be able to do that. And if I buy it on my Wii U, I should be able to take it to my 3DS as well. Um, that's what PSN does. And I'm sure, well, I'm sure Microsoft would do the same thing if they had a portable system. But um, it, it's just, Nintendo's kind of archaic when it comes to the internet and... Um, I've heard rumors that they're going to fix that. There's going to be some kind of massive update coming that's going to tie all these shops together and blah, 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 one account, which would be a great thing instead of having, you know, all these different things. Um, but, yeah, so long story short, Nintendo made good on our collective error because, of course, there's I'm partially to blame by not knowing about the system in the first place. They're partially to blame for having a shitty system, and Starbucks is partially to blame for having crappy Wi-Fi. Because they wouldn't let me bring it home. They wouldn't, even though I live like two minutes away from the, the GameStop, and I know the guys, they, of course, they wouldn't let me bring it back here because that's just, that's a little too crazy. But going to the Starbucks next door where they can just kind of pop in and see if I'm still there with it, that was okay for them, so. Ooh. Kind of a, a long tail, and... Uh, a week's worth of fretting and worrying, and I finally got my uh, eShop data all fixed up. So, back to enjoying the 3DS XL. Happy I have it. Um, I just wish I didn't have to go through all this malarkey to uh, do a system transfer, but it is what it is with Nintendo. So, anyway, that's it for this. Um, I'm probably going to film a couple more videos today. Uh, I'm getting kind of close to the channel having sort of a milestone, and uh, I'm going to be doing something for that, so there'll be a video for that. Um, and then, I, this is the start of a five-day weekend, so I'm really hoping to get Time and Eternity done, uh, if not tonight, well, not tonight, probably by sometime tomorrow. Um, and then I, I plan on hitting Shin Megami Tensei 4 pretty hard as well, so hopefully I can get both of those done in this five-day weekend, because... The one big obligation that I had, I got done early this morning, so I pretty much have the entire 
remainder of the five days just to do nothing but w what I want to do. So uh, hopefully I can get all that done. But that's the end of this video. Uh, I want to thank uh, the people at Nintendo for um, you know helping me out with this situation. And for those of you that uh, wrote uh, you know sort of uh, your own horror stories with Nintendo's backwards system or just any company's backwards system, there were some that even complained about Sony's. Um, and it was kind of uh, sympathetic to the, the plight. Um, thank you. And for those that were just like, oh, you're an idiot, oh, piss off. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, that is it for this. So I want to thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.